Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I want to talk about two-way repeaters. This is an example of one kind of two-way repeater. So I want to talk about this one that I designed, and then I want to show you a sort of sample usage case. And then I want to show you an alternate design that doesn't use two-way repeaters. And finally I want to come back to explaining how this particular design that I built works. So first let me just tell you what a two-way repeater does. It works like this. When you turn on this side, the redstone on this side, it gets repeated over to the other side. And then if I turn on the redstone on this side, it also works the other way. So it, it, it's like a repeater, just a normal repeater, except it works two ways. You can't do this with just a normal repeater because if you have a repeater going one way and you want to use the same redstone line, and you try and do something like this to have the repeater go in both ways, uh, well, you can turn it on. You know, I can power it from this side. Then when I turn it off, though, it doesn't turn back off because this repeater is feeding to the input of this one and vice versa. So it's just a feedback loop and it never turns off. So that doesn't work. This one does. And if I turn this one on and then I try and turn this one on, it doesn't move any of the pistons around. And then if I turn this one back off, uh, it'll still, after a brief period, it'll still stay powered on both sides. So it's pretty robust, uh, and it's useful. So here's, I've chained a bunch of them together with just line, a single line running in between. It's really cool that you can use a single redstone line to transmit a signal both ways. So anywhere that I stand in this chain, I can put a lever on here, and all of these lamps are going to light up down the whole line. No matter where I am, I can go anywhere in the line, and that'll happen. And that could actually be really useful for a lot of applications. A lot of the times you do want this sort of behavior where just a single place, uh, turning the power on, will turn it on elsewhere, and you want it to be able to do that for multiple locations. So that's, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't show you, you know, a minecart rail or something that used it in particular, but I think you can imagine for yourself, probably, how that might be useful. Here's an alternate design that doesn't use two-way repeaters. It actually just uses two independent one-way repeater lines. So this this line is going off that, that direction, and the top line here is going off that direction. And if I put a lever here, all of the glowstone lamps in this line will light up, and that'll happen anywhere that I go. And the way this one works is the redstone doesn't propagate in this direction. It only propagates in that direction on the bottom line and vice versa on the top line. It only goes that way, but not this way. You can see this redstone is off. But in, in, at any given place in the line, the redstone will be coming from one of these two lines. So we just sort of uh, or the two lines together at every juncture. And either, in this case, you can see the top, the top repeaters are on. In this case, both of them are on. And then down here, the bottom repeaters are on. So this is a way to do the same effect he uses multiple lines, uh, although, you know, which takes up a little bit more space for the, the, the duration of the line. But, you know, this one uses more resources for each repeater. So they each have their own merits, and you can make your own decisions as to which one to use. I just thought I'd present both, both cases. Uh, I still think that two repeaters are kind of neat. There's just something about being able to do that that's really cool. Let me show you how this design works. And again, uh, I, I, I did actually invent this design on my own, but I don't know if anyone else has done it before. It's, it's entirely possible, so uh, so just keep that in mind, I guess. Uh, there's also other designs that don't use any sticky pistons that just use like repeaters and torches, and you can find those elsewhere, but I'm not going to show any examples in this video. Uh, so the way this works, here's the sort of the skeleton of the design. If I use this lever, you'll notice that this piston gets pushed out. And now, if I turn this lever on, this block has been pushed out of the way, so this piston will not turn on. This is what prevents the feedback loop that we get with the normal uh, two repeater setup over here. So all you have to do at this point, pull those back, is just have a, uh, a torch here and a torch here. So when I turn this on, I want this torch to power this line. Now, if I just put some redstone dust right here, that's not going to work because now this redstone dust here isn't pointing at this block, so it won't power the piston. I've just broken it. And that's why in my design I had a repeater here instead receiving the signal. 
because it allows this line here to go straight into that block. And so that'll still be active. And now when I turn this one on, it does work. It uh, powers the other side. And then I can do the same thing over here, just a repeater and a dust. And, and that'll work. So I, if I turn this one, oops, I have to turn this one off first. And if I turn this one on, we get it going both ways. And it's very nice that it doesn't have that, uh, that feedback loop. You can, and you, if, if both are on at the same time, it doesn't break it or anything. So pretty cool. Again, like I said, there's other designs. And you should go look those up on your own if you're interested in them. But I thought I would, uh, for those of you who aren't aware of the existence of two-ear repeaters, I thought I would show you a neat design that I just happened upon and show you kind of how you can use that uh, to, uh, to a good effect. And of course, this, this, uh, this design without any two-ear repeaters has, has its own merits. It's actually very simple to build and very light on resources. So hopefully this helps with some of your redstone contraptions. That's about it. Thanks for watching.